Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We have some brand new WWE Action Figure Elite Series that have leaked through you guys. That's right, we are talking about Series 98. We're also going to get to Series 136. We're going to actually jump right into it, you guys, because I don't want you guys missing any of this. And of course, right here, for Elite Series 98, it's not expected until December later on this year. But you know what? I think that's perfect time, man. You know, it's Christmas time, and what better way to do up the holidays than with some brand new figgies right now for elite series 98 we're going to be getting big e randy orton finn balor mandy rose first time in the line rick boss and farouk damn he's coming back but it ain't gonna be in the first that you guys know i'm gonna give you guys the breakdown as far as what we should expect most likely right here for orton it's got to be something within the tag team run and i know that the gears that he's worn lately really haven't been as great as to what they've done back in their earlier so i say if they ever do end up hopping back into like a retro theme i know they've recently done it right there i think it'd be cool to get the red gear but if not you know what i'll still take the dirty sanchez who wants to see randy orton right there alone alongside RK bro telling you this would be awesome this would actually be a nice little following set if Matt Riddle was to get a release for Elite Series 99 right you can get an interchangeable head scan for Matt Riddle so you got that same similar look that he wore that night I'm telling you some good possibilities some ideas that are worth putting into play I'm sure a lot of people want to see Dirty Sanchez not just on Randy Orton but also on your boy Matt Riddle now for Big E I would love to see that bright gear that that he wore right before he ended up going right there onto the shelf right i love the yellow the orange i think this gear right here would do the man justice i know that the last release on the elite i think it was the royal rumble that one was pretty good but i do think that this one would be one up from that now for finn balor the last elite that we've seen of him was elite series 82 which is actually kind of cool because i mean even now to date this figure is still current as to what he's currently wearing so where does that leave him well that's it's only one fallback and you guys know where we're going with this but the demon gears right okay let's talk about this we've seen some cool demon gears we got the ultimate edition in a demon gear but if he's going to be coming back and he's already wearing the same stuff that he was wearing on his prior figure release this would be a perfect time for them to capitalize and go ahead and put the figgy right there into action i don't care if it's during the wwe run i know we've had a lot of batman geared inspired such as the last ray mysterio elite so they could easily put that joker theme again it wasn't in wwe but but they could do it. That or Freddy Krueger, Hannibal. Really what it all boils down to is that the Honey Pot, it is pretty big and the varieties, you can mix them all in. So if you guys have been on the WHF channel, you already know that a lot of these customs have already been put right here into action figure format. Now right here, Mandy Rose, she does need one. I feel like the whole transition from main roster back down to NXT with the rest of the ladies. You could even throw this into a three pack. Who would want to see that, right? We got the women Women's title, the NXT women's, and then we got the main title for the women. Oh, dude, I'm just telling you, Mandy Rose has done some great stuff in the figure lineup, and this right here would really be no different. Now, for Rick Box, I know WrestleMania wasn't a good moment, right? He had that injury. Man's back on the shelf, but I really dug that bright yellow that he wore with Nakamura. So, again, if they do end up following with a follow up set right here for Shinsuke, that's something they could do. They could have the matchy matchies, so that way, not only your boy Randy. Andy Orton and Matt Riddle got the whole good look going, but also Rick Boss and da -na 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 -na. Nakamura would love it, you guys. Now, damn! I said Farouk is coming back, but it's not going to be an APA. It's not going to be in a singles run. It's going to be that one character that you're going to question him like, damn, what the hell were you doing? <laughs> Look, I ain't got none against this whole theme. Keep in mind, a lot of the characters during the new generation and golden era were kind of far-fetched. They were either like superhero inspired, bright colors. Farouk was brilliant in them back then. And I think for them to represent that back into the Mattel series, I think it'd be a nice little execution. Now for series one, 136. We're going to get Cody Rhodes, Goldberg, Dolph Ziggler, Bobby Roode, and Zing Lee. And I got to say right here for Cody, great opportunity to kind of do one up as to what the AEW Unmatched Series has recently done. And I know you might be throwing it out there as if like he should probably get maybe the Hell in a Cell gear. I don't think for a basic, it would be a good way to introduce it. What I personally think is give him the suited body, right? We haven't seen the long trench coat. And this is what I mean about doing it up right there 
based off the unmatched lineup. So it's like, oh, okay, so you're doing it up, right, Jazzware? And then Mattel steps in, clothesline from hell, and then Cody Rhodes ends up signing the piece of paper to an official WWE contract. Then he gives you that smile. He's like, WHF, we love the way you think, my buddy. Or do we? I'm just saying that if they do end up making an in-ring gear, I would not want to see the introduction in basic. I would either A, straight to the Elite Series, or the Ultimate Edition. Now, I got some really good news, you guys. Ring Ringside collectibles, they're going to be getting Suzuki in here within the next month or so. Well, it's the pre-order at least. It hasn't gone live yet, so definitely turn on that notification bell to stay tuned as to what he's going to be bringing. I'm sure other characters will follow up in the series, but as of right now, Suzuki is the only one mentioned. Now, Cesaro, if you guys watched the pay-per-view last night, Nick Storm had tagged me in it right away. He's like, all right, fix ski up skis, WHF. I know you're doing it, so how about for the next video, you throw him in there. Right? We can do a little Bobby Lashley mix-up. He's got the whole tights coming down as opposed to the trunks. So it's got to happen, you guys. I'm telling you, you got to come back. If you guys are stopping by for the first time, don't be hesitating, man. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and drop a like, too, if you think that Cesaro needs to get the update for the AEW figgies. Now, I got some bad news. There's always good news here on the channel for the most part. But at times, there's got to be the bad. And as of right now, you guys, at least for the whole Kogan, for the ringside collectibles, exclusive wolf pack he has kind of been put on back order not on back but as far as the whole shipment it has been delayed so even though they have already put the review up on the channel we should be seeing this hopefully within the next month or so i've really been waiting on this so when we got that email i was like bro come on man i just saw the video i would need it in my shelf right now and this one right here is gonna be a gem without a shadow of a doubt now pain maker fakes he's back right there within the creations right Hell in a Cell, not a very good moment for Ali. But you know what? That gear, fire. The match, he brought it. So what? Now you got to make the fig, right? And I highly doubt that he might get another future figure release based on the whole issues that he's been having with this contract. But if they do, we got to make Shy town shine and we got to bring the whole Painmaker creation with it all, right? Another nice, beautiful piece that he has put together is kind of his own version if there was a whole transition from WWE to AEW. And this is cool because now that money in the bank is right around the corner, this would be a nice little upgrade right there based off what the Toys R Us exclusive has already done. Give me your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of Elite Series 98. Do you guys also think that Elite Series 99 could potentially have following matching gears for the tag team partners? Just a thought. Some good ideas that could be put into play when official images do drop in. Again, definitely end up stopping back right here with a WHF squad. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next Next one.